new material before I point out that we are a couple of months from 20 years of Iowa. Um, but you've been, you said earlier on, you've been being creative. You've been playing guitar. Um, the last, like, I'm no pressure, but Chino Marino learned to play guitar and then they made White Pony, so no pressure. Um, what, where has your creativity been taking you? Well, one, I wish, I know this thing can move, but I'm going to need someone to help me move it. My creativity, let's see, I don't want to break, uh, we'll get someone in here. Yeah. I'll help me in a minute. But number one, my creativity has been taking me to a studio that I now <clears throat> have in my basement. Uh, I'm currently sitting in a control room. Mm. Uh, it's a very, it's now one inch bigger than it needs to be. I've been to studios all over. I've recorded in the Houdini mansion with a giant American flag uh, in a living room. Uh, uh, you know, so it's all speculative, you know, mm. um, um, uh, it's all, you know, it's, Music is what you make of it if, if you believe in it. Um, so my creativity, there's a live room um, that I'm looking into, uh, big enough for my, 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 you know, big enough for a big, big metal kit to fit into. Yeah. Um, it's basically big enough to uh, make a sub not record demo, you know? Um, could we make an album? Anybody can make an album anywhere. Is that the intention? No, I'm a clown. I have a studio. I have the dream. I have a little place where I can shut the door, open up programs, get a riff down, talk shit in the microphone, throw a beat down, practice my drums, have my good friends here that are in the band or out of the band. Uh, currently, I have a band member here. Uh, before Christmas, uh, several, several people were here. Um, uh, some people choose to be, again, this can be confusing. Let's reiterate. Mm. Let, let's just get to it. I have created anything and everything that we can or will not use if we choose or not. So, yes, more everything and anything that is going on right now is much exciting so fearful, so scary for us, scary mm. territory, scary territory. Why? I'll tell you. First of all, I have an easel. I have an easel. Okay. So I can work all day. Don't ever try to stay up with me, ever. I might not even be working. I, mm. Who knows what I'm doing? Just don't do it. But now I have a place where I can work. And I have people around me <clears throat> that have taken the oath to work the way we work. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is anything done? Nothing is ever done. Why? Because nothing is ever done until everyone in the band has had their say. Mm -hmm. I like to back that. I, if it hasn't happened, no one grabbed me. I will fight for that. Um, we merely do what we do in this life. Right now, the mm -hmm. pandemic hit, and it made me creative. And if anybody's mad at me for being creative, I don't know what to say about it. But I know that we can use all of it or none of it. I don't care either way. Yeah. But I will let you know we will <laughs> use all of it or none of it. Either way, we don't need to make it confusing. But yeah. I will tell you, until Sid Wilson has said what he wants to say, listened to every ounce, been able to take his time, uh, I point him out because he has not been one of the people yet um, to be here. Mm. Uh, that's going to happen very soon. Awesome. Um, uh, as I going to his location and doing the same thing, um, uh, I, bring, I say him because until he has heard everything that could be a possibility from second one to A to Z, basically, yeah, not his say and his due diligence to be, you know, zero, uh, you know, Slipknot's guy, 
uh, an OG, Sid Wilson, Young Buck, number zero. I mean, come on. It's never done. So it, it gets confused. Everybody, you know, maybe you get to talk to me, but you don't get to talk to anyone else. So you don't, no one else gets to talk about it. So it gets mm. confusing. So I want to make it unconfusing. Yeah. I, I got very creative. I created how many? I'm not going to say. Because then the suits and all the stupid people, they want to hold you to it. Yeah. When I say stupid people, I mean, they're actually very smart. And then, then next thing you know, I'm in a mouse trap and I don't know what to do and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Basically. But, but everybody just needs to know I'm in my basement with my stuff, doing my thing with my friends. The way we want to, there's no one telling us anything. Mm. And we are in the most scariest, scariest area ever. Uh, and Corey Taylor has gotten almost all of it and partaking on almost all of it. Holy shit. Which has made it a completely <laughs> other sort of weird thing. Yeah. But I'm going on the record right now that we could be talking about one song. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, what, what I wanted to ask, what I wanted to ask was that was so different last time out with All Out Life being this, like, you're used to, I, I'm, I'm an albums guy. Like, I love songs, but I like the broad You're very canvas. smart. You're very smart. Thank you. That, yeah, you I, caught something. You, you caught sir. something. Continue. You caught something. But, but I'll tell you what you caught, but continue. But you released this like this <laughs> fucking one-off bomb right and I, I live on the west coast so i woke up i did my morning stuff pick my phone up look at my timeline and it's chaos that all out life has been released um did you enjoy that model of doing things and when you say when you say what you just said like I might be getting two and two together and getting four and get four or five. So I guess the floor is yours, Sean. <laughs> well, what was, yes, we had a brilliant time doing it because being able to live outside the corporate box out of the regime of the regiment that you're in, the touring monster, Reading and Leeds are always in the summer. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So you're yeah. touring the summer uh for your family you know to pay the bills to get the art out to meet friends you're there's a regime there's a regiment that's happening that is so almost impossible to break but then you got people like me i can't speak for other bands and i won't mm. you got people like me that are just i mean you i don't care you talk to them you talk to anyone and you talk to them about me and they'll they'll tell you I'm a problem because I like to break the regime. I, I Fuck want yes. And so all out life had no plan. It was a surprise. There was, we had the plan. We didn't give you a plan. Mm. We took you out of it. We had love it. We had the plan. We knew the day, we knew the time. When the kids came to the video, I made them I made them, I made them uh, 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 react to the song "Sick." Halfway through, I changed it to "People and like Shit" to see if they were smart. A couple kids came up to me and they're like, "Why would you ever change the song midway through the day?" I'm like, "Cause I can." And they're like, "Well, huh? Real strange." And none of those kids or adults or fans or the culture knew anything about all life, all life until you did. And that was a better, um, if you can imagine myself, the director working with these beautiful people all day who love Slipknot mm. and keeping something from them and watching them all post stuff, you know, got to, you know, Slipknot, you got da, 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 and they have no idea. And I get to hold that. And then the video comes out. And you know, you rub your eyes, you open your phone, boom, chaos. And the kid, the fan, the, the, the maggot, the culture, they're like, oh my God, I'm in this video. And they didn't even tell us like, that's, that's love. 
that was the plan we had. Let's love what we do. Let's love our fans. Let's just let's turn this up and do something different because we can. And all we got to do is accept that we can move outside this weird timeline that we all just subscribe to and work, work. Just work. Work is love for us. I'm so I'm lucky. In. Work. Yeah. You know, I'm so lucky. So let's not make it a problem. So then, if you will, just to skip forward, Unsainted, we told you exactly when it was coming out. Mm. And what, you know, we have the first single coming out on this day. And da, 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 we gave you the plan. You were so pissed about not having the plan. And then we gave you the plan. It was like, just, you know, it was art. It was just beautiful art in the best lure and fishing pole with the with no one being hooked, just getting the school together. And, mm. and because the school was everywhere. And it was like, there needed to be a diversion. And sometimes you got to be sneaky. And then, and then... <laughs> By being sneaky, then you can get with the people that said, okay, we'll back you. Then you give them respect and say, okay, okay, now we'll we'll go on a plan. Mm. Well, we'll we'll I won't make you guys nervous. I'll let you stick by what you know works because you may have yeah. went to college and learned some weird shit that I don't know, or <clears throat> whatever it is. I, yeah. I have so many wonderful people with so many weird ways. Of thinking yeah. that it could go any possible way at any one time because of the involvement of thinking. So you caught on to it.